Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Nature's Creator. Today's video is about mantis. But before starting it, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Praying mantis possess stereo VN and thanks to the placement of their eyes, they also have a wide field of VN. Each of their eyes has a fovea, a concentrated area of photoreceptor cells that let them focus and track with accuracy. Mantis are the only insects capable of turning their heads from side to side. Being able to turn its head without moving the rest of its body is a key advantage for a mantis when hunting, allowing for minimal movement as it sneaks up on prey. Praying mantis wait to ambush or patiently stalk their prey, but once they are ready to strike, they do so with lightning speed attacking with those big front eyes so quickly it's hard to see with the naked eye. In addition, they have spikes on their legs to square and pin the victim into place. Mantis are supremely gifted in camouflage. They come in the form of leaves and sticks and branches like many insects, but also take it a bit further. Some mantis mold the end of a dry season to become black. Conveniently timing their transformation to coincide with a blackened landscape left by brush fires. The flower mantis are amazing, some widely ornate, others looking so convincing that unsuspecting insects come to collect nectar from them and become dinner. Mantis are carnivores with the taste for live food. They can provide some helpful pest control to gardeners as they eat potentially destructive intact insects like beetles, crickets and grasshoppers. However, they aren't picky eaters. They are also known to prey on helpful insects like native bees and butterflies, so their overall effect on pest control is difficult to predict. Even though they stalk hummingbirds and are masterful hunters, praying mantis are also hunted themselves. Their predators include frog, lizard and birds. They also preyed on the bats, but they are not easy victims. They can detect the bat echolation sounds and when they are approached, they dive to the ground, often executing spirals and loops on their way. Male praying mantis do not always survive the mating season. Between 13 and 28% of mating encounters end with sexual cannibalism, in which the female praying mantis bites off the head of the male and eats him. So guys, this was all about today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it.